Hey, welcome to Color Up. So today we're going to look at a don't pass bet versus a don't pass bet with maximum odds. Which is better? Well, I can tell you right away, it's going to depend how the dice roll, which is a better bet. If you're going to add odds, it's going to be more volatile. But if you're rolling more sevens than points, you're going to be better off betting odds, just as if you are on the pass line. Now, I know a lot of players don't like to add odds because it pays back less. You have to bet more to win back less when you're laying odds. But you're making a true fair bet with the odds bet. You get paid fair for the risk that's taken. And in this case, when you're betting odds on the don't pass, you are the favorite to win. So let's go ahead and check it out and just do a little comparison. It doesn't mean anything one way is gonna win or gonna lose, just depending on our short little dice roll. But it is kind of interesting and will get you kind of thinking about the volatility of one way of betting versus the other. All right, I have $500 bankrolls and we're gonna be doing a three point note, which is pretty common, All right? So both of us players are gonna go $10. We'll be at a $10 table today on the don't pass for the come out roll. And here we go, new shooter. Let's see what happens. Four, four hard, four is the point. Again, our flatline player, he's not gonna take any odds. Our player over here, our aggressive player, he's going to add maximum odds here, three, four, five times. So we can win three times or we can win $30. So we're gonna bet $60 and you're gonna see right away, you need a bigger bankroll to play this way. But we're gonna win, we're gonna bet 60 to win 30. And then both players are going to make a bet in the don't come to get another point established. All right, here we go. Two aces, that's a winner in the don't. So both players will just get a quick $10 win and we'll rack it up for both of us. We're not gonna press or anything. And here we go. Three, three craps. Again, another quick winner for the don't. So both players are gonna win $10. We'll just rack that up. Let's see if we can keep doing that. It's great for the don't player. Six, six easy. So six is gonna be the new point. These are gonna both travel behind the six. Again, this player, no odds. This player is, uh, we're gonna bet $60. Again, there's a little shortcut. Maximum odds on the don't side is always gonna be six times your line bet. So let me scoot these back. We're gonna lay $60 to win 50 here against the six, All right? Let's get both players one more number and then we'll just roll it out from there and see what happens. Here we go. Eight, eight easy. A lot of don't players don't like this, but we're gonna go behind the eight. This player is just gonna go flat. This player, 60 to win 50. So we're gonna lay 60 to win 50 and then we're done betting. Three numbers, and here we go. Obviously, you can see our odds player, just as if we're a pass line player, they have a lot more volatility. I mean, they've got a lot more on the table, so the swings are gonna be more drastic. Mathematically, it doesn't make a difference between these players. They're both gonna lose the house edge on their line bet. All right, this stage of the game, the 12 doesn't matter. For both players, we're just looking for the seven. There's the eight, so that is gonna knock us off, and both players are gonna lose their bet. Our odds player is going to lose a little more. And we're still looking for that seven. Five. Watch, I have a great roll. That would be funny, right? Yo, 11. Nine. Neener nine. Center field nine. Looking for the devil. Nine. Back to back. Just as I figured, I do a don't strategy or don't video, and we have a good roll. Six, we hit another number and we knock off the six. So down these guys go. All right, we got one number left and that's the four. 10, 10 easy, we're, but we're looking for the seven. Nine, I'm gonna roll these kind of quick because obviously I'm gonna have a monster roll here. 12 craps. Seven, there it is. All right, so we're going to win 30 or $60 bet is going to win 30 
10 for the line, and our flat line player is just going to win 10. So we can rack up 10. We're going to rack up a little more here, but that's not going to make up for all the money we bet. All right. So new shooter, puck goes off. Both players on the line for 10. And let's give it a try again. Here we go. Eight. Eight's going to be our point. No odds. We're going to lay 60 to win 50 on the eight. And then we're both going to get another don't come bet working. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Yo, 11. That's no good for the don'ts. These bets are both going to lose. We'll go ahead and refill that for both players. And here we go. Yo, 11. All right, down they both come. And both players will get back in. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Two, got a little bit back there. That's a craps number. We're just going to be a winner. So now we're going back and forth a little bit here. Let's see if we can roll a box number. Eight, no, but we're going to hit our point. So eight is a winner. So these bets are actually all going to come down. Our don'ts are going to travel behind the eight and our puck is going to go off. Now this is going to be the same shooter coming out. So we'll just go ahead, get another number on the don't and see what happens. Here we go. Same shooter coming out. Five. Five is going to be the new point. We're going to be betting against the five. We're going to do no odds here. We're going to bet 60 to win back 40. And then we have the eight up here. This player is no odds. This player, again, a little expensive, but we're going to bet 60 to win back 50. And that's two bets. So we'll go ahead and get $10 from each player to get one more number. And here we go. Five point hit again. All right, this is where you don't want to be a don't player, especially you don't want to be a don't player laying odds. So this is all going to come down. These bets are going to move behind the five and then our puck is going to go off. And we got the same hot shooter coming out. Let's go ahead and get 10 on the line for each player. Let's see what happens. Here we go, coming out. Seven on the come out. Okay, this is an interesting one. So our don't pass is going to lose on the seven, but our bets up here are going to win. All right, lay odds are always working. So we would have been better off if we remembered and we could have added lay odds to the five, but that's okay. Um, so what we're going to do is these are going to, let's take this player first, come down and going to win for his flat bets. So we can stack that all up. And then our player here is, let's see, 60 is going to win 50. Our flat bet is going to win 10. And then we just had a flat bet here on the five because we didn't add our lay odds. So that's going to win 10. So we could just stack all this up and send it out to the player. All right, and then it's a come out roll, same shooter, but our don'ts are working, so we can rack up a little bit there. So let's go ahead and get right back on the don't for $10. And there we go. And we got the same shooter coming out. Here we go. 10, 10 easy, 10 is going to be the point. Again, no odds here. We're going to lay 60 to win 30. And then if you notice a little gap, usually they tell you, don't put it to where the die could end up stuck, you know, whatever. So leave enough room that a die can kind of land in there is what they kind of the rule of thumb there. All right, let's get both players another $10 for the don't come. And here we go. Four, four hard. So he's going to travel behind the four. No odds. We're going to again lay 60 to win back 30 or one to two. And then we'll get down $10 each for another number. 
seven, all right? So here our don't comes are gonna lose, but we don't mind that because our don't pass is gonna win. So we'll win out here and 60 is going to win. Whoop. Go backwards here with my hands. 60 is gonna win 30 for the odd, 10 here. And these are gonna come down and get paid. So we'll just get one to one here, another 20 or a $10 win. And then what number was this on? The four. Okay, so 60 is gonna win 30. Our flat bet's gonna win 10. So that's gonna go out to our player there. And the puck is gonna go off. If you're enjoying my videos, consider supporting the Color Up channel by joining my club, the Color Up Club. It's an awesome community of crafts enthusiasts just like me, and I also give out some free swag. So check out my website, colorup.club. I think he's still losing a little bit. It's a little bit closer. But again, the racks are gonna go up and down faster if you're taking or laying odds. All right, so puck went off, so we're gonna have a new shooter. Let's go ahead and get down $10 on the line for both of us. Do a few more rolls. Let's see what happens, here we go. Seven on the come out, that's no good for the don't. So both players get their money swept away. And here we go, coming out, looking for a point. Again, seven, frontline winner, take the don'ts. Six, easy six is gonna be our point. No odds here, we're gonna lay 60 to win 50. We're allowed a maximum of five times our line bet. And then both players are going to make an additional don't come bet, DC bet, whatever you want to call it. 10 the hard way, that's actually a decent one for the don'ts, but you never know how the dice will roll. No odds, 60 to win 30 behind the 10. And then we'll do one more don't come for each of you. And here we go. Nine, neener nine, center field nine. We'll move behind the nine. No odds, 60 to win 40. And again, you can see his racks very volatile. But if we can roll a seven, we're gonna be in really good shape. Dice off the table, no roll. Are you superstitious? It would work out in your favor if you're a don't player, right? Let's see what happens here. 12, midnight, we don't care. Four the hard way, four hard. Seven, there it is. Seven out. All right, let's take care of our first player. His flat bets are gonna come down. Win 10 each. And then we'll take care of our line player. So 60 is gonna win 50 on the puck. One to one there. 60 is going to win 30 for the odds, 10 for the front here. And 60 is going to win 40 in odds, 10 for the flat here. We'll stack it all up for you. And move it out to you. Puck is gonna come off. We're gonna have a new shooter, and our flat player is gonna rack up some red. He did win a little bit. Our odds player is gonna rack up some red as well. They're also gonna rack up some more green. So it looks like our odds player just took took the lead but we're well actually it might be pretty darn close um, I'm not gonna count them yet we'll do one more round so we'll give it one more try see what happens 
Here we go, new shooter coming out. It's a long roll, it's probably off screen, but we have a nine. Nine is gonna be our point. No odds, $60 to win back 40 on our nine. Then we're gonna get $10 each. And then don't come, and here we go. Four, easy. So our bet's gonna move behind the four. Again, no odds here. We're gonna bet 60 to win back 30. So we're gonna lay odds back here. And then one more bet, one final bet for each player. And here we go. Nine, so we hit our point. Puck's gonna come off. First, these bets are gonna come down. They sweep the losers away as quick as they can. These are gonna travel behind the nine and the puck's gonna come off. Uh, if we wanna layer odds, we can do that. While everyone's rooting for the seven on the come out, we'd actually be a winner for our don't. And it's the same shooter, so we'll get $10 on the line because we for our third number. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Same shooter coming out, looking for a number. Eight, eight the hard way. Point's gonna be eight. No odds. Again, you see how volatile this is. 60 to win 50. Five to six payout there. All right, so these are the numbers we need to avoid. We're looking for big red to show its head and there it is, nice, all right? So let's take care of the line first. 60 is going to win 50 for our odds, one to one on the line. And then we'll go ahead and bring our player down here. He just gets paid $20. And then we can bring these down here. So that's gonna get paid 40 and then $10 for the flat. I'm just gonna pay out 50. Here our 40 is gonna win 30 plus the odds. He's gonna win 40. <clears throat> and so we'll clean it up probably. Ooh, a little green in there. And send it out your way. Puck's gonna come off. Let's go ahead and tally them up and see where we're at. So back and forth, we want a total of 525, 530. So we profited $30. For our don't player, again, low volatility. Our, this player went up and down. Let's see where they're at. So let me go ahead and color these up. 610 for our player here. Six, there we go, 610. And what do we have here? We had 530. So let me grab another chip here. 530 coloring up. So both players were actually winners. We, we won a little bit more with the odds, but again, you saw the volatility is up and down. And that's what an odds player does. When playing odds, it doesn't increase your chances of winning anymore, but it does increase the volatility. So if you bet the odds, you're gonna either win more or you're gonna lose more. That's the same whether you pay the pass or the don't pass. In this case, it worked out in our favor a little bit and we're up a little bit. So there you go. That is a flat better versus a lay odds better. So I hope you liked the little demonstration. Until next time, good luck on coloring up.